Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Mm, sorry, Pete. Um, it is the day after surgery. Today is the 24th. Let's see my view behind me. Pretty gorgeous. Um, <clears throat> I'm tolerating the water well. Uh, they're talking about starting me on a protein liquid soon to see how I handle that. Uh, my blood pressure was normal this morning. Um, I sort of kind of slept. Uh, the only reason I say that is, let's see, I think they... At one o'clock, a doctor came in to check on me, and then at like three fifty-five, they drew blood. So, and then of course they come in and do vitals every so often. So, we'll say slept is a. We'll use that as a loose term, um, but it wasn't. I mean, it wasn't bad. Um, <clears throat> have been able to like stab off the pain medication a little bit you know so like instead of every four hours I'm at uh, about every five and a half to six hours um, nothing really new at this point it's only like eight o'clock in the morning it's like 8 15 so I'm just kind of hanging out sitting in a chair I'm gonna try and do a walk do a couple laps around the, the floor so that uh, um, in case there's any like of the gas that they pump in you still in there can get it worked and moved but right now I'm just kind of just kind of here just by myself so I'm just surfing around the web um, I don't think there's anything else um, the, the pain yesterday when I first came into recovery was terrible between the gas that they pump in your stomach, putting pressure on you, and then just the incisions, not, the incisions don't really, they don't hurt, uh, and they even pressed on the sword and they don't hurt, but like my abdomen feels like I have taken a, a serious whooping, um, I feel like Bruce Lee just did a couple punches on it, but other than that, you know, I'm I'm surviving. Um, my pain level right now is about a four or five, um, so I may have to have them give me some medicine for it because it it slowly gets worse. Um, what else? I don't know. I don't know. Um, just kind of taking it easy, sipping some water, and uh, going from there. So hopefully we'll get out of here today. Um, I don't know, I haven't seen um, my doctor yet, um, the guy that actually did the surgery. So I don't know, I don't know when he'll be in. There was a team that came in, like a team from his office that came in at like 7 o'clock this morning to talk uh, and to check on me and stuff like that. So. I did talk to them, and uh, one of them said they'd be back in later today as well, just to go over some of the information they went over this morning, in case I was sleepy when they went over it, so. That's it, like I said, I gotta walk. They definitely want me to walk um, at least three times around the floor. And, uh, and then eventually they're gonna want me to start protein liquids and then to make sure I can handle those so that's where I'm at. I will say the staff has been excellent here um, they've all been really nice really helpful so that's, I definitely got that going for them and uh, they've all been very funny um, I was sipping the water and they hand it to you in like this this, this little cup let me see. Ooh, see those little white cups right there? 
that's what they give you the water in and the guy was like take sips and I was like okay and he's like sips not shots and I'm like okay but I started to laugh and that's not a pleasant feeling right now so anyways that's where we're at so we're uh, just trucking along I'll try and keep updating throughout the day I'm trying to think if there's anything else uh, like vitally important to share about this experience um, don't know if I talked about it yesterday, but like, they took me back, to, I've got two IVs in, you know, they've got a backup IV in case one collapses, but they took me into the OR yesterday, and like, they put you, you're on this mat, so they fill this mat full of air, and then they use that mat to slide you over, um, and then once you're on the table, you know, they kind of strap you down, set your head up and stuff so when they need to put the tube in they can and then they put the oxygen mask on me and they're like alright take deep breaths and I remember the anesthesiologist saying okay you're probably gonna start feeling and he started to say the word sleepy and then I woke up in recovery and pain so that was that was that was a little trippy but yeah, I slept right through it. It felt like no time at all had passed, so I don't remember how long I was in there. It was a few hours. But it... That's... Man, anesthesia's crazy. So... Um... Yeah. So, anyways. Um... So I was in recovery for probably an hour or so before they moved me up here. They wanted to make my sure my blood pressure was okay. But again, they're not sure if my blood pressure has been high or if the cuff just doesn't fit my arm. So this morning it was it was normal. So that's a that's a good thing. I'm looking at the numbers. My pulse is 75. Uh, I don't know. There's a 99 up there. But anyways, yeah, that's how we're doing. Waiting to, waiting to, for them to give me a checkout time so I can call my ride and let them know when to be here. So, rocking and rolling. We're about to go for a walk, but I made the machine angry at me. All I was doing was trying to find the battery charger for my camera. supposed to come fix it though, but I made it angry at me. Oh. Alright everybody, so I just drank my first two protein shots, so it's two little cups of that. Um, I've got to do that every hour and two of those, two or three of those water every 15 minutes. Uh, I saw the doctor today. And he said, basically, if that doesn't upset my stomach and I can keep that stuff down, then I'll go home later this evening. So it's about 2 o'clock now. Um, so we'll stay on the water, protein regimen, and see what happens. But, alright, I'm still a little sore. Um, I got up and did two laps uh, around the hall. I'll probably do another lap here in about 30 or 40 minutes. Because uh, I know they want at least three. But hopefully we'll be out of here today. Um... That hasn't been too bad, so just kind of seeing where we go. Ah, familiar space. Except that, that's new. Um, I'm home. I've been home for about an hour now, maybe two. Uh, they didn't release me until almost like 8.30 tonight, so... No, it was 7.30, so you figured two-hour drive, but home um just took some medicine i'm gonna try and lay down and get some sleep uh, i do have to get and get the kids up for school tomorrow but after that it's just kind of whatever whatever tomorrow just rest try and meet my protein needs and water intake needs and vitamin needs and stuff so tomorrow starts the the I wouldn't say the hard stuff, but the, the interestingly new beginning to how things are going to be from this point forward. You know, only being able to take in small amounts and stuff, so 
it's still a little hard to tell like how much my stomach can handle because it's still kind of sore and stuff like that so anyways I'm home I'm going to bed till tomorrow